ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Hoi Me Craft. We are in the most unholy place in Minecraft, in the nether, and it feels weird. Why is B-Dubs here? Why am I collecting nether bricks? Nobody uses nether bricks. I'm dismantling a little bit of a fortress here. Just collecting nether bricks for our awesome, cool build today. Oh, I can't wait to show you. But, as I collect, I have a sh uh, little story to tell you. This is the story of B-Dub's true first real dad moment. Okay? I have children. I've raised them to the ages of seven and nine. But, this was my real moment. Our sprinklers weren't working. I noticed that one of my sprinklers was leaking, and this is going to have pictures and video with it as well. I documented it. My sprinkler was uh, not working very well, and so I dug it up a little bit, and I found out that a big root was growing around the sprinkler and, like, choking it off and breaking it. So I took a hacksaw, and I cut the root out. I cut the whole root out and found that, yeah, it was... It, it, when I was cutting it, I cut the plumbing <laughs> for the sprinkler, and I cut the wire. The wire for the sprinkler system. So now broken even worse now that my whole sprinkler system doesn't work i thought well i have to call somebody to do it until one day i woke up and said i'm a father i can fix this so i went to the hardware store i got wires i got plumbing supplies and i spent the entire day on my hands and knees doing real life redstone electricity and it was torture I can't move today, but uh, my legs hurt so bad my hamstrings feel like they're on fire and ripped to shreds. But, believe it or not, I did a daddy thing and I fixed it. I fixed the sprinklers. Don't worry, I've got professionals coming to do it the right way anyway. But, but you know, I got them working for the moment. But let that be a lesson to me and to you. Oh, I lost a lot of health there. That is a great lesson that, uh, that I learned that guess what? You can do anything. Even if it seems like it's very, very hard, if you just try, it might take you a long time. Uh, I didn't know I was a perfect electrician that could fix sprinklers, but now if my neighbors ever need help with their sprinklers or if anybody needs help, I can fix it because I can do anything. I'll take a long time. I try my heart out and it'll be exhausting, but I can do it. Let's take ourselves to the shopping district, and I'll show you the location. I've picked a prime spot. We're really running out of spots here. There are a lot of towers in the shopping district. There's my Moss Omeno shop. There's Scar's Redstone shop. Lots of buildings, lots of space, believe it or not. I mean, it feels like, it feels like there hasn't been this much action. It's deceptive how many shopping shop, shopping shops. But right as you exit the portal, straight ahead beyond this... Uh, crane that the king was hung from straight ahead we're going to build something and it's actually kind of in our neck of the woods right next to our base oh yeah let's see protesters they're still going strong and I see TNT inside of the button there's TNT in there oh boy okay but I have all my materials all laid out right here got a little place carved out B-dubs make here and here's all my stuff and I just got I mean here oh these are all my normal materials but look at all this I'm building out of my favorite block waxed weathered copper yes now there's a term in the building community that I'm not loving so much and it's called gradients you know I I am victim to this but I think we need to look at it more less as gradients as more as just shading just color blending in certain areas because just creating a gradient one color of this plain it's not a very good representation but we're gonna go from this to this i think these are two nice contrasting colors and i've kind of laid out here what blocks will be using it's a tough transition but with all of these and kind of mixing it doesn't have to be this smooth smooth color transition but look at this we're going from this dark purple Working our way through the greens all the way to this green. But I think we're going to go even further because we got a brand new block in the game, baby. The bamboo 
block of bamboo. The bamboo block of bamboo. Yeah, I think that's a really nice blend of colors. And I'm not going to spoil exactly what what uh, the purpose of this building is yet, but we're going to need it, trust me. But through the grapevine, I have heard a rumor. A rumor that Scar has come over and decided to play. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, good. Good. So, Scar, and I think this is in his video, uh, which I haven't seen, but I didn't know it's queued up. I believe, though, that he came over, he messaged me and said, you're not supposed to use bow and arrow on horse pop game? And for those of you that don't know, you put diamonds in here. Your snowballs come up here. There, oh, there are my horses. There they are. Okay, great, great. All right, more to add to the memoriam pile. Uh, that is a travesty. He's destroying horses left and right. He used his bow and arrow instead of snowballs that usually come up here, which is saddening. But, great news. I believe it's this horse right here. Let's bring up my statistics. Oh, yeah. This horse, it, it's pretty much the highest jumping, almost the highest jumping. I'm real close. Uh, one of the horses that Scar killed was uh, one of the best horses on the server so far, and it's dead. <clears throat> I'll get it back easy. This thing, watch. Watch me jump. I can jump so high, and I'm going lightning fast. So, uh, hello. <laughs> I could just throw my elytra in the trash. I'm not gonna, though, because I really need them. Impulse dropped off some beautiful boxes of bamboo. So kind of him because he won a horse. He won a, a horse on a horse pop game. He won it first try. And don't you F3B. Right. Uh, Are you oh, F3B? You knew it. I was literally just Do looking down at the keyboard. Just, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know you. Busted. Yeah. Yeah. Busted. yeah. Question, has anybody won this game? Yes, Tango won it first try. You just had to, you know, okay. I had to you say that, lied. yes, yes. You could have lied to me. I know, me. I know. Uh, well, would yeah. have made me feel better about myself, yeah. but I, okay. I think he cheated, but I, I'm probably. not sure how yet. Yeah, he's a bit of a redstone genius. He probably, he probably figured you out. Oh! oh! First try, baby! First legit official try, we nailed it. We're wow! better than Tango. Not even Tango <laughs> could do that. But let us stop our dilly-dallying. Let's head on. To our area. Oh, yeah, that's going to be some beautiful colors. Trust me, this build, I'm trying to be more bold. We'll talk about it a little bit uh, after I get some sections done. I don't know if my time-lapse replay mod is working, but if it is, here's me doing a good job to music. Now, before we finish this whole thing, I got this one pillar thing done. And you can kind of see that color graduation there where it goes from, don't say gradient, say graduation. <laughs> where it goes from, you know, that color all the way up to the dark, which just looks black in Minecraft. Nether brick is very, very dark. But the reason why we're pausing here is because I wanted to also tell you that this nether brick, and I had a video about this in the past, nether brick is the most versatile block in Minecraft. You know why? Because it has regular blocks, it has stairs and slabs, it has walls, and it has fences. No other block has all of those things. We have fences and walls and blocks and slabs. And stairs. It doesn't have fence gates, but lucky for us, it does. we do have dark oak fence gates. And if you implement some dark oak in as well, see, a nether brick, for some reason, its fence won't connect to wood, which you can actually utilize. So I've utilized that a little bit. You can see it up there at the very top. See how some of them are connecting and some of them aren't? That's because... I'm using dark oak fence and nether brick fence. So once you start combining those things, and I don't think, oh, that does attach to that. Interesting. Okay. I don't know if I did that at all, and it doesn't really matter a whole lot. But if you need the fence gate in there, you can just do dark oak. And, it, and especially from a distance, you can't even really tell the difference. Even up here, 
it seems like it blends pretty well. So nether brick, I mean, it's an odd color. That dark, dark purple is not really a go-to favorite color of many people, but I'm telling you, as far as versatility and just being able to model your build, it's got the most options out of everything, which is awesome. Okay, but there is one section. Time to uh, work our way up and build the rest of this beauty. You know, it's about nighttime, so I'll be able to sleep in a second, but it's kind of nice atmosphere for what we just built. With this rain coming down, can you see it? But either way, we have to make it beautiful daytime sunshine, don't we? Got the build done, got the whole thing done, and it's, it's really, it's a cool build up close, but from a distance, it looks the best. That's why I had to kind of strategically pick the location. Where are we going to place this? Ah! Where are we going to place this thing? So I thought, you know, the best angle to view it at is about here. Without those trees in the way, kind of. But that's still kind of nice. It adds some depth. But I think the thing that you're looking at the most is windows, right? Hopefully... Hopefully you're looking at the windows. I mean, the up, the upper part, I made that really intricate and cool looking as well because a lot of people, the way they view the shopping district area is like so, from up here. So we've got both hammered in. We've got the bottom looking cool if you're on the ground and we've got the top looking cool if you're flying, which is pretty nice. Trying to take a little more artistic liberty with these windows. So that one up there, that's a little more pink because this is supposed to resemble like a neon pink light. This one like a yellow light. Uh, but those the windows, this one looks kind of orangish. These three look orangish. These a little more gray. These windows are four blocks deep? Four blocks deep to get this look. And even when you come up close, it doesn't look too bad, but... You look here, we've got trapdoors going across, trapdoors going in the middle, a layer of glass, and then wool behind that. So the interior, which I said we're not going to reveal, it's going to be a secret, is not done. But this is what it looks like for these windows. But it's worth it. This is a build for what I've got planned. Wait, how did that go off? Why did that door open? That was very weird. Either way... Uh, we don't need all of this interior space. And it's not a TNT shop. Uh, I, man, I'm such an idiot. I'm not going to tell you. It's going to be a surprise. Oh, by the way, there's TNT in the building design. What an idiot. All right. Yes, it's true. There's gonna, It's going to be a TNT shop, but it's also going to be other things that I can't tell you. And it's not going to be just come and buy TNT. There's going to be more to it. So stop thinking. Stop. Dumb idiot B-dubs, what's wrong with me? Either way, beautiful magenta. I thought some contrasting colors would be like that that dark purple, but then even light purple looks good on there. Um, and then notice the blocks. So not doing just a pure gradient, okay? Upstairs, dark for a reason, because creepers get made up there and uh, the sulfur kind of coats the, up, the upstairs, right? Uh, but here... I'm, I used lighter prismarine blocks around areas that would have lights and even trying to do some color blending. So when you blend this pink into this greenish color, you get like a more gray. It takes the color out. So kind of trying to do some color blending and stuff like that to make it look cool. And of course, we had to get a little bit of the new cherry wood in there. But I'll pop out of my head in my fly cam just to give you guys a little bit more of a look all the way around. We've got some big pipes on the backside there. Up The upper part just totally covered in dark, you know, so I'm not really doing a whole lot of different color details up there. Some fence, There's some gates over some windows and then some weird pipey things coming up and some uh, cat, catwalk back and forth stairway thing right there. But that is the 360 view of the new shop. Man, what is a horse course going to be like once we run these bad boys through there? These super fast, great jumping horses? Oh my goodness, horse course is going to be amazing. Uh, but 
New shops, new update, we're on 120. Don't know if I mentioned that, but there are, let's see, some new, ooh, almost can get some diamonds uh, and a crown, looks like. New shops in town for 120, Jevin has made. He, he went out and got everything in the first week or so. He's using the hanging signs as well. It's very cool. But he got all of the armor trim things. So, I think we should take a look. Now, I think there's one that everybody... I mean, we're going to do that. Whoa, is it black? Yeah, it's black. Yeah, everybody's going to want this silence trim. That's kind of the best one, isn't it? Where it's just like you can basically have purple armor. But I'm not going to go that way. Oh, this is like an ordering system. Aha. Uh -huh. So you can't make them yourself here. Uh, I, I'm in the mood to change my new, my new look. I mean, the armor, this is part of who you are. There is another trim set. I want, to, I want new trim today. You know, you are hard-pressed in this city to find a hitching post in front of one of these shops. Aha, uh -huh. but sure enough, look at this. False. Oh, false. She's got a hitch in post. She knows. She knows. Very good. Okay. So, trade templates. Okay, you can trade templates. Very cool. Missing template. Feel free to duplicate here. Um, okay, very cool. Oh, and then inside here, maybe. All right, I've circled this thing many times. Okay, just running in circle. Very cool looking thing. But, um, uh... I'm not seeing, missing a template, feel free to duplicate here. I think this is just a gift. Template donations welcome. So I think this is just a gift of like, hey, have a template. Okay, without any Googling or anything at all, of course I have figured out how to do it. I, I've, I've won, I've done a thing. Okay, uh, this is definitely not from the wiki or anything. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Let's try this and this. And nope, and bow, and boom, and bing, bong, bang, bing. Is this shaped? Ah, uh -huh, it is shaped. Okay, you have to do it in the, right, in the right shape. Okay, so we got that one. We go with ward here. So I think diamond goes, or, or template goes on top. Diamond's in a U shape. And then, yeah, you have to use the appropriate material. I got it. I figured it out. U shape. Template, and then the appropriate material, which is cobblestone in this case. Okay, I've got my outfit. Oh, you guys are gonna love this. I must have a smithing table around here somewhere. I know, <laughs> I know I've seen one in this area before. All right, add that to the list. Add that to list of things we need to do. Smithing table, smithing table here, down here, no. Aha! Of course, I knew it. Okay, in my bedroom the whole time. Okay, this is our new look. I've had this armor for so long. Let's pop it in there. Let's put a gold boy on, in there. Uh, in here. It's hard to see it on there, but this is, uh, this is... Oh, it does it. Oh, baby. Okay, okay. Grand reveal coming up soon. We're going to do these beautiful chainmail pants. Yes, Cub is cheering. We're going to put Sentry... Just something nice and subtle on there. Oh, yeah, baby. And then my shoes, we're going back to gold, and we're going to put wild? I think wild. Oh, yeah, that's nice looking as well. Oh, you don't get the best view in here. Let me go outside and model it. All right, we have some pretty nice lighting right here. Let me take a bite real quick, and then let's set the tripod, the camera, and then let's turn around and, oh... Oh, baby. Just a subtle, just a little bitty, small diamond fleck on the pants. And then I'm so royal looking, and my Jordans, my shoes, they look amazing. Here I am walking. Look at, look at how these shoes pop, man. These shoes are just popping in my head. I love the shading on it. I'm telling you, the... It's hard for chainmail people like m like myself. It's hard to find a nice armor trim that works, but I think I think we're looking pretty snazz. All right, I'm not going to tell you what we're going to be doing next episode with this place.
okay? <laughs> you can't know. You can't know that I'm putting a creeper farm in it, okay? And that it's going to create TNT and something else. But all of the other stuff, you guys won't know, and it's going to be super exciting, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I love you to death, and we'll see you in the next episode.